Hey guys, everybody's been saying, hey, stinky on pit base, what is this module here? What does it do? And please excuse my little uh, Gorilla Tape little Trump's uh, clip meter right there. This is going to be the uh, June Tech wireless VA meter. It's going to show your wattage, voltage, and amperage on the input side of your amp. This doesn't have anything to do with what your amp's putting out. This is what it's drawing from your battery bank, and it's pretty dope. It creates its own Wi-Fi signal, and uh, it's, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. It even had a module uh, for the uh, for the temp. So you could put that at maybe the uh, the motor of your of your subwoofer, or uh, get a couple of them, or even on your amplifier, just to keep an idea of the uh, the temperature. It measures amperage, voltage, wattage, and then the uh, the temperature. So it's pretty cool. It's actually going to be the uh, the hub that goes in between the negative grounds between your amp and your battery bank, or straight from the alternator, preferably not whatnot. Um, so this is pretty simple. This is actually the module right here it has a little LED light indicating that it's on. You have the negative terminal of your battery, go into it, and then straight into your amp. So that's how it measures the amperage. Now this also needs a 12 volt uh, power supply. And the 12 volt um, reading that you actually see on the screen up there transfers from this. They're using its own little Bluetooth or Wi-Fi network. It's pretty dope. I've actually wired up a little uh, little two dollar twelve volt switch here. You can do it with a relay or whatever if you always want it on. And on off, you're gonna see that little red light go off. Bam! There. Now, if you notice on your screen up there, it's got an X on the left hand side of the screen, actually showing you there's not a signal right now. That's why everything says zero. So it's really, really easy. They make a couple different ones. Of course, I bought this off Amazon. Uh, they make a 75 amp one, I think 150. I went ahead and got the 300 amp one. And uh, in the second part of this video, I'll show you guys actually what it reads up here. Um, the most I've ever seen it read as far as amperage uh, pulling is about 125 amps or something like that. It could have to do with this battery being a little bit older or me only having single inputs. It says like one-odd or two-odd gauge wire. But uh, check out the video, I'll put a link uh, actually down in the description below. All right guys, so as you can see, this is actually the monitor unit. It's the monitoring part of it. So this is gonna give you your voltage, uh, amperage. This is gonna be on the input side of the amp. This is in the, uh, the amount of watts and stuff um, that it's actually your amp's putting out. You can go to this screen by pressing the OK button. That's actually gonna be your input wattage. Wattage is also a way of uh, measuring the amount of uh, current or ele electricity. You have all these options on here. You can even do uh, uh, like night mode or day mode or whatever on here where it reverses uh, all the colors and all that. Uh, this is actually, along with uh, this guy, I have this little 12 volt, um, little like a uh, little relay, a uh, little push button thing on off real, real easy, uh, positive and negative. I have that wired into the old uh, cigarette lighter that was right here. It's 12 volt. So that's going to be the ECU or PCM based voltage. That's going to be this guy. You always notice that this guy is going to be a little bit higher than this guy. So this guy just has a little on off switch down here. It's interesting sitting here watching this voltage change, which is coming from the cigarette lighter, which is basically uh, the, the ECU or PCM uh, voltage compared to the actual voltage of the battery bank back here. Now, if you don't press anything, this will actually go to the uh, the bigger mode display. Um, and there's all that, like this guy right here. And as I play the music, you'll see this this change. This is going to be your input amperage, how many amps is drawing. And then it'll be a little bit different. I'm right here in my neighborhood, so I can only do it for a second, but check this out. So that's very, very interesting that there's a difference there.